Hey, if you guys are looking for some great budgeting tips or you're just starting to figure out how to budget, stick around. I am interviewing the budgeting wife here on the channel. What's up, it's Justine with Debt Free Millennials. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss another video from me where we talk about all things millennial and money. So for today, we are talking budgeting. It's not a bad B word. So I have on the channel here today, Marissa with The Budgeting Wife. Hey guys. We met here at FinCon. We are coming at you from Orlando and it's just been a blast. It has been so fun. It's been so fun to meet in person finally and just be able to like extend our friendship into real life. Yeah, so. financial friends. Financial friends. And so beyond. Good. This is awesome. Yes. Okay, so you are the budgeting wife, mm -hmm. but you're also a budgeting queen. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. She knows how to make the, the can, digits yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if somebody's just starting out with budgeting, mm -hmm. what would be some things to look for? What's yeah. some of your best tips? Yeah, um, I like to base my budget off of the philosophy that a budget gives you permission to spend and it's not restricting but it allows you to spend and so when you look at it like in that mindset um, I think that it just is it allows you to do so many more things with your money and to be able to plan your money well for the things that you actually want to do um, so with that one of my favorite things that we could do with our budget is um, have sinking funds and so this is something that we save for every month um, and so just below all of our normal household expenses in our budget we have sinking funds and so these are things that you save for every month um, when you know that you are having something coming up so things like a vacation maybe you're saving for a new car um, maybe you're a homeowner and you know that you're gonna have to replace the water heater in a couple years and so taking the cost of that water heater and dividing it by how many months you have until you'll need to make the purchase and if you save that amount each month then you'll come to that day and you'll have the money set aside and ready to go for that new water heater purchase so we love to include sinking funds in our budget as just like an extra way to save for things that we know are going to happen in the future so there's no surprises right exactly you're literally a sinking fund is literally taking a look at the total cost of whatever it is that you're saving up for and then working backwards from that mm -hmm. so you're saving monthly you're trying to figure out how much those monthly savings payments are mm -hmm. and then really paying yourself so that when it comes around it's already saved it's up already for. yes it's done so I love that okay so you have the sinking funds in place what yes. are some other things that people tend to forget to add to their budget Ooh, something that people forget to add is usually that miscellaneous category Ooh, I like to call that the oh fudge <laughs> category that's a perfect name for it yeah, yeah. you know when you're like oh <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, Ralphie, I think, made yep. that famous mm -hmm. in a Christmas story. I, that is my favorite Christmas movie, oh, by the way. Mine too. So we'll so have to watch it together. We will. Okay. Do some popcorn and cookies and all that. <laughs> so that miscellaneous category is so needed um, because you're always going to plan your budget. You're going to have your groceries and you're eating out and all these things. But then there's always going to be something random that comes up that's not necessarily an emergency, but it's just something that you may have spaced about. Um, so something like we forgot that we were going to be going to someone's baby shower. And so putting that baby shower gift into our miscellaneous account for that month was a huge lifesaver. So. Oh, totally. And, you know, as millennials, we're at that age where people are getting married, mm -hmm. people are having babies, mm -hmm. and then they're having engagement parties and oh, baby yeah. showers and gender reveals. That's a thing now. So many parties. So many parties and so many gifts and mm -hmm. things like that. So, yes, important to add in that miscellaneous category yes. for sure. For all those other random things, too. Yeah. Absolutely. So what are your budgeting tips? So one of the things that my husband and I do is we actually build in our savings for vacation because we really love to travel. What we do is we literally add a line item into our budget and we label it vacation funds and then every single month we are transferring money from our checking account into a separate savings account specifically for vacations and then when we're ready to go on a trip or you see a really good deal for a flight then it's really easy to make the decision you can just go ahead and take that money transfer it back into your checking and book the flight it's super simple it gives you the permission to spend exactly yeah permission to spend yeah i love that 
Do you guys have a vacation account that you guys? We do. do. Yeah, we love having a sinking fund um, for vacations. And so I will plan out a vacation because I'm such a planner. It's like months in advance. And so I'll kind of estimate how much I think the trip will cost. And then we'll save. We'll divide that by how many months we have until the trip and then save that much each month. So type A personalities right here. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> so my next budgeting tip that I think plays a, a key role in order to be successful is every single month you are starting a new budget. Mm -hmm. You are literally starting a clean slate. I love the first of the month specifically for this reason. Yeah. Because it's like everything resets, mm -hmm. everything goes back to zero, and then even if you made a mistake, mm -hmm. which we still make mistakes. Oh, totally, us too, yeah. We overspend in a category or mm -hmm. we forget something. Yeah. And it's just a nice reset where you can talk about the previous month's budget, how you did and how you can improve for next month. Mm -hmm. How do you guys handle budget meetings? That's so great. Um, I'm definitely the nerd of the relationship. And so I love to just like sit down and I'll take a look at what we did last month for our budget and copy it over into Excel for the next month, but I'll make the adjustments in uh, that new month. Um, so if we have something like, again, like the gifts thing that, that came up as like a miscellaneous thing, I wanna try and budget for those. So I'll take a look at the month and see if we have something you know like that to come up if I can budget for it. Or things like uh, my husband's birthday is next month. So including like birthday in the budget. And so yeah. just coming up with those. And then I'll sit down with my husband, Jacob, and he'll look at the budget, make sure that everything looks good to him. And then it's locked and like ready to go for the month. That's awesome. And you know, you don't have to feel like once you make decisions on the budget that it has to stay that way for the entire month. Mm -hmm. If you need to make an adjustment, you go to your accountability partner mm -hmm. or your spouse and you guys have a conversation about how you want to change that. It can yeah. be as fluid and flexible as you want it to be, I think. Totally. And you can't be too hard on yourself too because a budget, like if you're starting out to make a budget, it takes three-ish months to kind of like get the feel for it. One month you'll probably go way over in something and then just being able to adjust it each month as you go and then down the road you're going to be like locked and loaded and like have that budget ready to go exactly yeah i'd love to know from you guys what are some things that you feel like you're overspending on or you go over budget let us know in the comments below this has been such a fun conversation with you totally thanks for having me on your channel absolutely so, so where can we find you for more tips and tricks yes you can find me on youtube my channel is the budgeting life so you can head on over there and Check We're dropping the links below. <laughs> yes, definitely check out, subscribe to the Budgeting Wife's channel. We're going to drop the link below so that you can head over to her channel, check out all of her tips and tricks, especially when it comes to budgeting. She's the budget queen, like I was saying. So head on over there, and we will catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Awesome.